get to Rocky Point, also known as Puerto Penasco, we're about four hours south of Phoenix. I'm about two, two and a half hours south of Phoenix now. One thing that you need to get used to if you're coming down here is a whole lot of nothing. Just passing through Ajo, Arizona, 10 miles from Y. Um, I don't know what they mine down here. I should. I'm going to guess and say it's probably copper. Um, we're just about 30 minutes from the Mexican border. Okay, so here's the border. I always like to stop here and fill up before I go into Mexico. It's just easier. Um, there's a big gas station, gift store, duty free shop up ahead. I'm going to turn around and go around the building here so I can cross the border and uh, get ready to roll my windows down. Don't have to do it yet. To the left of me is the U.S. side coming back. Um, they didn't inspect my trailer last time, but they did want to look inside my truck after I drove through their x-ray because this Chevy Avalanche has a spot behind the seat that makes it look like there's a hidden compartment. So I expect they're going to want to do that again when I come back. So here's red and green. They're both doing that, but the other lights are up ahead. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to pop my windows out in just a second. Weapons and ammunition in New Mexico is illegal. Always, always make sure you don't even have a bullet in your car. Make sure you don't have a weapon. There's a gentleman in Gilbert that's in jail now facing 18 years because he forgot that he had a pistol in his glove box. So they're going to squeeze me over to the left lane here. Almost there. We just went through the U.S. town called Lukeville. Now we're going down into Sonoida. And, uh, I'm always ready to chew my nails off when I come down here. It just, it's something just nerve-wracking about it. So, enter, enter, alto, alto. So I'm going to wait here. Got my passport and registration ready to go. Stop, stop, stop. Enter, here we go. Okay, wish me luck, folks. I haven't seen the red light, green light system here going. So it's like they're just going to ask me a bunch of questions. So. They're going to make me pull over up here. So, Buenos Aires. Okay, this is the registration for the truck. Okay. Registration for the trailer. And your passport, please. And the passport. And open the model home, please. It is open. Yeah. Uh, it's open. Okay. It's um, open. You want me to pull over up here? No, it's okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So I gotta go inside with us, see what happens here. Okay, I know you couldn't see that. Um, but uh, it went very well. They were very gracious. Uh, we they wanted to open up the back of my truck and look inside there, and they checked uh just kind of walked into the kitchen and the trailer opened up the drawers he smiled looked at me and said rocky point i go yes and uh he opened up all the cupboards i opened up the bathroom for him asked him if there's anything else he wanted to see and they said no gracias they're good this is the hard part here you have a lot of disabled people pretty soon there's going to be more people up here wanting to wash your windows for two bucks or whatever and i you know i just I keep going, sorry to say, but um, the contrast between the United States and here really becomes evident when you get across here, so I gotta wave these guys off, so, so, no mas, no, I'm good, I'm good, no, 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 oh, they do it every time.
Donation for the food of family and room at 20 dollars, my friend. 20 dollars? No, 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 no. No mas. No 20 dollars. Donation for the baby, my friend. Here you go, one of those trays. Oh, I got 20. Saving it for a ticket. For me, for me, please. I'm good, thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Good. Okay. Bye. Man, they're aggressive as hell. He wants to take my 20. They're paying anybody $20 to wash a window. <laughs> I'm letting you experience the whole thing here, folks. Now, this is the place here where the, make sure you know how your speedometer works when you go to kilometers, because speed limit here is 40 kilometers an hour. That's a little over 25 miles, a little under 25 miles an hour. So don't go 41. Gonna get a ticket. This is your Bienavito se Senorita. That means welcome to Senora. Lots of dogs. Uh, I'm going 20. I'm trying not to exceed. I can't believe they wanted $20 to uh, wash my window and they missed a spot. <laughs> 20 bucks. Okay, go slow. Hassle free vehicle zone. Isn't that interesting? I mean, they literally put a sign up that says that, well, they're just not going to hassle you if you're driving through here. Not in this part of Mexico. Maybe in other parts of Mexico. But you can rest assured that this is a hassle-free zone. That's well, we're now in Rocky Point coming up to the resort. Uh, part of the town, you can see all the condominiums up ahead. Uh, forecaster said it was going to be windy today, and they aren't kidding. The wind's blowing like crazy. So I have to ask, how come the uh, windmills are not turning? <laughs> There's two, and they're frozen. Welcome to Arizona's Beach. We're up here at what's called Sandy Beach Resorts. I'm glad I have GPS. I don't know how you can ever find any of these places with a map. But, very windy down here today. Uh, we're just getting up on the beach communities. This is where all the condos are. Some nice homes next to us here. Most of these condos are owned by people uh, in the United States, particularly from Arizona. And they rent them out when they're not here. They get a pretty good uh, return on their investment. Well, they, they did. I don't know what they're even going for now. I'm going to check that out while I'm here. And you can see that there's a lot of places still under construction. Seems like that's always going on down here. Always something that's part way finished. One up on the right there. Lots of rebar. <laughs> You can rent all kinds of things down here. You can rent motorcycles, boats, dune buggies. There's some dune buggies off to the left there. Got to make sure you stop at the stop signs. Don't want a ticket. There's some quads. You can rent those. It's very sandy here, so when it gets windy, that sand gets in everything. These are beautiful resorts, I gotta say. Uh, sunset views, when you stay at one of these places, they, the majority of them all face the beach. If you're going to come down here, don't get one that faces the other way. Get one that faces the beach, Sea of Cortez. Because you're going to want to enjoy the sunset and see the dolphins. They have blue dolphins out here. You can't tell they're blue from where you're at. That's what they're called, those blue dolphins. And these speed bumps are about the same height I am.
Downtown Rocky Point, America's Beach. You can see right here, the resorts are across the bay over there. This is the downtown area where all the shopping is. And entertainment. Now you come out here in the morning, that's when you'll see all the shrimp boats leaving. Not too many today, because it's just too windy out here right now. But uh, this is a big, vibrant fishing community, so you'll see all the boats going out early in the morning. And, uh, you know, you look at this and you can understand why putting a desalinization plant down here is a little problematic. They're going to have to find a solution to what to do with the, with the brine. Because that Sea of Cortez is full of shrimp, grouper, scallops, blue dolphins. So pumping that brine back in there is going to have a lot of environmental hurdles. I just don't see it happening unless they take the brine and they pipe it and send it out into the desert because you can't take any chances with this uh, with this body of water now when you get down here um, you can find just about anything you want there's bars there's shopping for clothes hats you name it it's a it's a lot of fun but we're gonna go to the fish market I'm gonna get me some good fish for dinner so um, when you park make sure you put the right uh, coins in the meter because if you don't they will put a boot on your car and you won't get out of here until you pay your fine. You'll also notice there's plenty of people walking around that will help you. Everybody's trying to get a dollar or two from you so when you when you go to park there's somebody to point and show you where to park and help you and it's just part of the culture down here. Make sure you bring some money. Okay, what's your team? Not yet, but it does sound good. <laughs> oh, okay, no, thank not you. yet, but thank you. All right, have a good one. <laughs> Shopping time. Take a look inside. Buy something you don't need. ¿Tú sabes cómo sacar eso? Ahorita, ahorita lo vemos. Hola, amigo, ¿cuánto lo quiero? I'm just, I'm just drawing. This is a right shop. Almost three. Looking for fish. I got it. How many pounds? Um, I don't know yet. Hola. Hola. Hola, you want to eat, buddy? Oh, fine, thank you. Know. Everybody asked me, oh, what are you looking for? Three boys. This is the one that my friends recommend right here to get fish right here. This is the place. Yeah. 
Ahí tienen. De originales. Sí, güey. Omegas, amigos. Scallops. Only frozen right now. Only frozen? Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Fresh frozen. Fresh frozen. Fresh frozen. Ajá. Uh -huh. I can do fresh frozen. All right, so tell me how long have you been fishing? Ten years. Ten years. What time do you get started in the morning? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock? Okay. And how long are you out there? How long do you stay out there? Like about eight hours. Eight hours? Yeah. Wow. That's a lot of work. How hard is it to catch these? <laughs> It's hard work. Okay, I just I just picked up a YouTube subscriber. He just asked me when I had the GoPro. YouTube? I go, yeah. He goes, where is it? I said, Rick helps. He finds it. He goes, there, I subscribe. Look at these. Sure, look at these. I've got my two pounds of scallops and I'm gonna be back. Some people like to come down here and you order the shrimp and then you have them peel them. Amigo! And, hello! Hello! Aloha! <laughs> <laughs> Buenos tardes! Buenas tardes, señor! Can you hang out at the bar while you're uh, waiting for them to peel your shrimp? Very crowded down here, especially on Sunday. The Sunday market is pretty crowded. Head back out here again. This is where they're starting work again to finish the cruise boat docking location. This is the causeway they're building. Look at all that cement. And uh, the president of Mexico just said that they finally reached an agreement to continue work. There were a whole bunch of legal hassles. So the project started and then it stopped. And kind of an unusual location because there isn't a whole lot out here. I mean, you got the wreck. Now he's going to be pretty thrilled once this is done, but wouldn't hold your breath. They've been working on this since 2013. So these cruise ships will be coming from San Francisco and from Los Angeles. Go down to Ensenada, come up to the Sea of Cortez and dock here. So getting this thing done is the first leg. And uh, across the street, you can see all these cement blocks being built. So I don't know how much longer it's going to go out or what it's going to look like when it's done. Uh, but that's the big project for Rocky Point is to get the cruise ships here. Badass, yeah. Sick. 
Okay. Okay. How are you? We many. So where are those window washers now when I need them? <laughs> 